Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you had a good weekend. Watching this spot out here in the Atlantic that looks like it could become the next name system. A tropical wave approaching the Caribbean and the Eastern Pacific. I'll get into all of that. We'll see some areas of rain, but here's Bermuda and you see the rain and storms around. It has been unsettled. With that said, as we go forward again, this area looks like it will try to develop in the North Atlantic. So let me take you through that. Now, hopefully most of the storms this season stay over the open waters. Here's the Caribbean. Here's the Gulf of Mexico. Again, Bermuda and the Azores. This is the area that may see some development. So let me show you that right off the bat, take you through that because uh, what's going to happen is if this becomes a named system, a lot of us start to hear about that and you kind of wonder where it is. Well, here's the Caribbean. Here's this area near Bermuda. This is today. As of now, in the next couple days, just a blob of rain. But what is going to happen is conditions are conducive for development. All the dust is down here. You may be dealing with the dust as well. That kind of prevents development. There is not a lot of dust up here. So this spot here by Tuesday, this is late tomorrow, you see the rain, it will have a chance to develop further and could become the next name on the list, which is Don. So here's Bermuda. Again, this will be moving away from Bermuda, but you see by the end of the week, this is by the time we get into Thursday, late Thursday, it starts to spin up. That's when it could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Of course, that would increase some of the seas. So again, Again, this is late on Thursday and then down the road this may spin up further could eventually become a hurricane most indications are now that it'll be a strong disturbance or a tropical storm but you see it spinning up further on Friday and that could bring some heavier weather toward the Azores uh, as we get into the upcoming weekend I'll keep an eye on that but the next name on the list is Don again we had Arlene Brett Cindy the next name is Don Emily Franklin and Gert after that so we'll see what gets the name of Don now here's the Caribbean big rain over parts of a uh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. We've seen some in Venezuela and uh, Colombia. Overnight, we had some rain. St. Lucia, Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago. The rain may have been uh, waking you up. We had some thunderstorms around in some spots and still seeing that in some areas, northern Guyana, uh, northern Venezuela. That's on the backside of a tropical wave that's already moved in. But another tropical wave, you see it there, that's the next one that will be sliding into the eastern Caribbean as we go throughout the week. It's that pattern. One wave after another in between the waves of course the heat and the dust so let me show you that wave again we covered that system in the Atlantic let me show you this one here in the Atlantic moving into the Caribbean now there's not a ton of moisture with this it is going to bump up the chance of rain today we'll have some spotty showers around but what's going to happen is once again as it moves into the Caribbean there's a lot of dust around there's some wind shear around so winds kind of rip it apart I'm not seeing any signs of development out of this I want to point that out again I'm not seeing this becoming a tropical storm but by late tomorrow more the rain chance picks up some in the eastern Caribbean and then it kind of splits up we'll get some extra moisture here northeastern Caribbean back through the British Virgin Islands US Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and again a better chance of rain Trinidad Tobago even near Suriname Guyana northern Venezuela we'll see some of the rain so it starts to weaken as it moves in but some spots will see that higher chance of rain late tomorrow into Wednesday with this next system and this gives us a feel let me zoom down just kind of pick it a spot to give you a feel this is a three-day rain total so through today, through tomorrow, into late Wednesday, and you see the blues and the purples on the map. That would be anywhere from 25 millimeters of rain up to 75 millimeters of rain, or one to three inches if you happen to get some of those uh, scattered showers and storms. So again, as this next tropical wave moves in, not all of us get the rain, but you could get some gusty areas of rain with it, watching that in the Eastern Caribbean. All right, the third thing has promised in the Eastern Pacific, it is active, but conditions haven't been super favorable to actually spin these completely up into tropical storms. So I'm watching a couple spots out there. One that is falling apart, that's going to be a non-issue. Another one may develop some, but again, conditions aren't uh, right for development, which is good because we don't want development. This one here, again, while the models kind of swing up here, it's almost completely falling apart at this time. That is said and done with. And even if this one does develop, all the modeling and environmental conditions bring it back to the west away from land. Now, now, again, on the Eastern Pacific side, a different set of names. Adrian and Beatrice, we already had that. The next name on the list will be Calvin, Dora, Eugene, Fernanda, and Greg after that. All right, let's get to some of the forecasts now with that approaching tropical wave. Now, Trinidad and Tobago, point being the next few days, scattered areas of rain. You may catch a break for 12 hours.
12 hours, then you may see some rain moving in, then catch another break. So I'm going to be on top of that for you. We had some of that rain again overnight, and we'll see that active pattern at least the next three days. Grenada, the same thing. Southeastern Caribbean, an active pattern, 50 to 60% chance of rain in the next few days. And that includes St. Vincent, the Grenadines, 50% chance of rain today. We've already had some in spots, a 40% chance tomorrow, back up to a 50% chance Wednesday with that next tropical wave. Now, tomorrow in Barbados, especially late tomorrow, chance of rain will be a little bit higher. That's when that next tropical wave starts to move in. St. Lucia, the same thing, kind of bouncing around. 50% chance today, 60% chance late tomorrow, tomorrow night, and a 40% chance as we work our way into Wednesday. Guadalupe, 40% chance today, 60% chance tomorrow as that next tropical wave moves in. And you see, again, this is not a 100% chance of rain. Some of us are going to stay dry. As the tropical wave moves in, it breaks apart. So you see, again, 60% chance tomorrow in Dominica, a 50% chance on Wednesday. All right, as we get a little bit more to the north, again, rain chance not quite as high tomorrow and Wednesday, Antigua and Barbuda, we're going to see about a 40% chance of some rain. St. Kitts and Nevis over toward my friends in Montserrat, a 50% chance of rain tomorrow and Wednesday, about a 40 to 50% chance. We'll see some of that moisture picking up. At least that chance of rain bumps up slightly. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, we get over towards St. Bart's as well, a 30 to 40% chance chance over the next three days. Back toward Anguilla, 20% chance today and a 30% chance for tomorrow. And then we swing back toward the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands. So St. Croix, St. Thomas, see how that rain chance goes up. I showed you as that wave moves in on Wednesday, that's going to spill over some showers for the Virgin Islands and into uh, Puerto Rico. We get back through Puerto Rico. You see on Wednesday, that rain chance is a little higher. It'll be enhanced from some of the heating from the day, a 50 to 60% chance on Wednesday. Same thing in the Dominican Republic. By Wednesday, that rain chance gets up to about 50% and about a 40% chance on Wednesday in Haiti. Generally, we'll see some of the afternoon variety of spotty storms around in Haiti the next three days. Jamaica, again, we have been in between stuff. It has been so hot. Occasionally, we get a storm here or there. Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, same thing. Passing shower storm chance, otherwise hot. We still have some of that dust around. Cayman Islands tomorrow and Wednesday, rain chance holding at 30%. Getting back over to the Bahamas, again, the rain chance isn't too high, a 20 to 30% chance. There's more action off to the east, more back to the west, kind of in between again in the Bahamas. Rain chance today and tomorrow in Belize, a 40% chance, and that includes Honduras. Watching Honduras, about a 40% chance. Aruba, a 20% chance today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. We get over toward Curacao, also a 20% chance today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. As the tropical wave approaches, as we've seen this uh, season, it's been falling apart. Guyana, rain chance around, scattered showers favoring northern sections of Guyana and Suriname as we swing over the next three days. So uh, clearly active. So watching that Atlantic spin trying to develop, we have that tropical wave arriving tomorrow night into Wednesday. Cover that. The Northern uh, Caribbean, that's where we could see some spotty storms, a little bit more in the rain, way of rain over toward Puerto Rico, for example, and the Dominican Republic on Wednesday. That may lead to some isolated flooding. I'll be tracking that further for you tomorrow and Wednesday. And again, watching the dust and the heat around. So busy pattern. If we get a name or I see anything spinning up, I'll let you know right away. But that system in the Atlantic trying to gradually develop. I'll be tracking it with you throughout the week. Thank you for sharing this channel and have a good rest of your day.